Okay, so the first challenge of 2018, pull-ups. And so let's go see how I'm getting on, and then I'm gonna talk you through what I'm gonna do to improve that, the Russian fighter pull-up method. Okay, that was seven reps, not amazing, but not a bad place to start. Okay, so the fighter pull-up program, as far as I know, was invented by this guy, Pavel Tsatsulin, well-known strength coach. Anyway, let me scroll down and give you an idea of what it's gonna be. So this is if you can do a five rep max. You basically, on day one, you do five, then you rest, you do four, you rest, you do three, you rest, you do two, you rest, you do one. And you go up, add in a rep every day. I'm gonna start on day seven, because I can already do seven, so I'm gonna start by doing six reps on day one, followed by five, four, three, and two. And then as you can see, you just keep adding reps, one a day, one a day, until by the end of the program, you're doing sort of nine, nine, eight, seven, six. They say you can add a lot of reps to your max doing this routine, so keep my fingers crossed. If I can get up to 15, I'll be very happy. And that okay, day one of the pull-up challenge. It's just gone half past five, and this is my nemesis. And the possibilities for your future based upon what you have now, and because of what's going on. I'm gonna let you into a little secret. Pull-ups really hurt me here. I think I get really bad inflammation on my chest joint. Okay, it's day three and I'm trying a pre-workout because straight after pull-ups, I've got squats. So I'm not sure about that pre-workout. My face feels itchy. Okay, it's day four and I'm a little bit nervous. Today is six, five, five, four, three. Okay, just did the second set of five. Kipped a bit on the last rep, it was quite hard. Okay, so I just missed a rep. I've done six, five, five. And on my four, I just missed the last rep, I couldn't do it. So I'm gonna have to add an extra rep on the end. I'll add an extra set of two on the end. So one of the things I wasn't sure about was rest time. How much rest to take between sets. So I've been Googling it, and to be honest, there's talk of even 15 minutes between sets, which I just don't have time to do, and I don't want to squeeze in other exercises between for fear of exhaustion. So I'm going to do four minutes between each set, just to try and standardize my rest. And day seven is done for a total of 13, 18, 22, 25. I think I need to work on the active hang at the bottom rather than a passive hang. Let me see if I can show you what I mean. So, <clears throat> passive hang, active hang, engaged, not engaged. I've been struggling a bit today, but there again, I struggle every day, so hopefully I'm improving bit by bit. I got the four, but that last one, as you saw, I had to kick massively. Okay, day eight, done, total of 26. Is that we must be involved in working on achieving self- Okay, so I'm using slightly longer rest periods today, about four and a half to five minutes. I'm beginning to think I'm just not cut out to be good at pull-ups. Let's keep trying. Okay, so if nothing else, it helps encourage my son to exercise. Show me your pull-ups. One, two, three. This makes it all worthwhile. Four, that's so good. Five. Okay, so today's day 10. Seven, six, six, five, four. A little bit of chalk today. Some days worse than others. I got the seven, but with poor form. I keep having to remind myself to focus on the process, not the result. Just enjoy what I'm doing. You're gonna think about something, some idea you had. You say, I wanna go back and I'm gonna look at that again. From a different 
It's hard, but I'm grinding through it, I guess. Okay, day 10 done. Okay, day 11. So I had a bit of a disaster today. My gym got flooded. So I've been focusing on cleaning that up. I've also got a bad pain in my chest. So I'm still gonna do my pull-ups. I'm gonna have a nice long break between sex and try and enjoy it. And as you begin to discover the truth of who you are, whatever challenge that you're facing in life. So a total of 31 reps today. Two more than uh, I was meant to do. Today I'm into interspersing my pull-ups in my shoulder workout. I'm not sure if it's having a particularly negative effect or not. This is set three, which is meant to be six reps. Let's have a look. Here we go, day 13, 30 reps. So it's day 14 today. Not there, not with it. I just tried to do one, couldn't even do one. I'm gonna try my set of eight. See if I can do it. It's only five minutes since I couldn't do one. Massive kipping. Hardest set I've done, chest was hurting, felt terrible. Did my eight reps, they were fucking awful. But I did them, which two minutes ago, I didn't think I was gonna be able to do. Okay, so it's now Friday the 5th of Jan. I'm gonna try and repeat day 14, which was meant to be yesterday. But I stuffed it up, I had nothing, I had no power at all, no energy. Okay, that hurt a bit, but I got through it. I didn't feel too bad. Okay, so after recording this morning, I missed my reps again. I did my eight, I did my seven. On my six, I can only get five. I've now been out, been shopping, done a few other things. I'm gonna try and get, uh, what do I need to do now? I've done a five, so I need to do a six and a five to do my day's reps. Day 14, done, but with a lot of trouble. Okay, so by pure coincidence, a Facebook group I've been using uh, that I just joined called the Driven Dad Nice Group is having a pull-up challenge for the month of January. So I've decided to join, I've added my name to the list and I'm hoping that, that gives me the motivation to keep pushing on my pull-ups even if I'm struggling with the Russian fighter program. Got to keep grinding out the reps one way or another. How do you motivate yourself? One of the things that we must do is that we okay, I read a little tip the other day that I think is helping. I did my eight quite easily. Just did my seven fairly easily, a tiny kip on the last rep. Tensing my bum. Sounds like a simple thing. Probably you guys already know, but by really tensing my bum, it keeps everything engaged, I feel stronger. Day 15, done. Despite a lot of kipping in the last set. Day 16, I'm struggling, I'm having to superset shoulder press and pull-ups because I haven't got enough time to sort of take my time and do both so I'm finding it hard I've done my eight I've done my two sevens I've just got six and five to do and I've been kipping a lot you always know when it's been a good workout because I come into the house feeling nauseous okay it's day 16 eight seven seven six five I had to take an extra day off yesterday my body felt sore I was aching my back was hurting Okay, day 17, 88765. Let's do this. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> Let's try that again. And that inner conversation has conditioned you to believe that you are not. Okay, day 17. I don't want to speak too soon, but if anything, this is getting easier rather than harder. Okay, so I've just cycled about, uh, I'm not sure exactly what it was, about six, ooh, no, it must be more, about 18K. So afternoon, I usually do my pull-ups in the morning, but I was in a lot of pain this morning, my chest was hurting. So let's see if doing it later in the day helps or hinders. Okay, that was a struggle. 
really felt my chest hurt at the beginning. But then I warmed up and got into it a bit. Got the nine, but four wasn't great. Okay, so I've got two more days to go in my pull-up routine, but I am struggling a little bit. I had to take yesterday off as my chest inflammation was really hurting. It's the same pain that made me stop doing bench press. This Russian fighter pull-up program hurts. I find the key to pull-ups for me is trying to keep my lats engaged and tensing my abs. So it's the 21st of Jan, much slower than originally planned. I've just realized today is the last day of my pull-up challenge. The things that you say to yourself, you want to watch them, and in watching them, you want to take charge. Right, my last set of the Russian fighter pull-up program, set of six, and I thought, let's get the top off. Check the lat development, see how it's going. <laughs> So a bit of a disappointing final test day. 10 reps, really only nine were clean I reckon. That last one I kipped way too much. So I'm a bit disappointed. My max has only gone up. Let's, let's give myself the benefit of the doubt and say by three reps. It's a lot of work for a three rep improvement. Although you could argue that's still like, my maths is rubbish, but like 40 odd percent improvement. So I suppose I shouldn't be too downhearted the volume was a lot, um, I struggled with it, but as I came out the other side and got into the sort of sevens, eights, nines, I actually started to find the routine easier than I had at the beginning. So I think that was just a case of getting my body used to that volume. Would I recommend the program for others? I think yes, especially those who thrive on volume and enjoy volume. I think I'm a guy whose body prefers intensity, you know, less reps, higher weights. Um, so I'm going to experiment with weighted pull-ups next, clap pull-ups, you know, more explosive movements. One thing I've really been happy about is I've started to understand the pull-up more. I've understood how to bring my core into it more, how to try and almost do a plank while I'm pulling up so everything's tight here, which I never used to do. I used to be quite sort of loose when I was doing pull-ups. And so just by sheer volume, I've learned what works and what doesn't. So on the whole, it's been a good experiment. I've enjoyed it. Haven't had the results I was hoping for. But let's keep trying with some different programs and I'll try and keep documenting them and keep you in the loop. All right guys, cheers.